Oh, hi guys! Um, no, oh, wait, okay. Hi guys, welcome to another part of World of Final Fantasy. Oh man, in the last part, stuff happened. I got upset. Uh, I didn't realize I had to review the footage, but apparently, death has actually been introduced, and that's what happened. I got upset, but anyways, I'll get into that later. Point is, I got stuff to cover and something to ha do, and uh, first things first. I unlocked a special ability with Cyrus here. You see, he can actually side evolve, so to speak. Um, basically, in the Mirage boards, you can unlock side evolutions, and it turns them into a whole different thing. And it's pretty cool, but the best part of all is that their level remains intact, and thus they keep all the SP that they've had, that they've earned in like their other evolutions. So basically. The only reason I'm showing this off is, uh, now I have a Reaver Mew, Moo, uh, whatever. Point is, uh, I'm not gonna keep him like that, I'm just, I'm just showing it off. Showing off that this is a thing that you can do, turning him back into a regular Moo. I'll deal with that later, I'll customize him. Anyways, I'm still you. grinding up levels, everyone's a little beefier, but I figured I'd show off the Coliseum and catch a new Mirage, something I plan to use. Now, normally, I wouldn't take on a lot of these things. I could probably do uh, the FF mascots, no problem. But I'm going to actually do the Santa Wannabes. Because I can actually use something I'm about to get here. And it would be very helpful to actually capture it early on. Also, they're not that, uh, they're not that strong, so I, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Point is, uh, let's see. Ability, I can't do anything with this, so I'm just gonna attack. And then I think I use the Libra. Yeah, okay. It's pretty simple, pretty normal. Ooh, they got the water gun. Alright, I think we're okay, because uh, I'm not seeing any sort of, uh, I'm not seeing any sort of issue here. All I need to do is capture one of these guys. It didn't work, but I'm, I'm, I'm still hopeful, because these guys aren't too bad. And I got it, I got it, okay, this is great, this is great. See, the reason I wanted to show this off, uh, and kind of explain the Coliseum, is because we have access to it. Uh, it's pretty standard. This is pretty much what you can expect. You can capture mirages, which is really nice. And uh, these are one of the mirages you can get like pretty early on, mainly because if you get like the whole like um, what is it like the pre-order bonus pack or whatever, which is totally you can totally buy that. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's a special edition, really. At least I think it is. I don't know. Point is, they add extra things that you can do, like extra DLC, like the Sephiroth medal. Which, by the way, now that I think about it, oh, I can't. I don't have the charges for that. I can't show it off. Otherwise, I would. But that's basically Coliseums in a nutshell. You do a battle, you fight whatever you got, and then you get rewarded for it. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Also, uh, we got the red bonnet berry, which is something I really wanted. And uh, this is something that I can uh, totally use. Anyways, point is, I'm, I'm totally going to name this guy. Uh, you're going to have to resume, or you're going to have to just stay put. Um, yeah, I'm going to go grind up and stuff, and you'll you'll see who I named this after. It's it's very important. I'm I, This is a crucial uh, mirage that I wanted on my team. They're basically just shortcuts. Yo, viewers, I totally forgot something at the watch planes. You see, in back row three, there's actually a green spot, which means there's a door. But more importantly, be before that, there's a piece of treasure just lying right here. I figured I'd go grab that. It's two wobble stoppers, which, nice. I should also mention my whole entire team, pretty much OP. You see, Cyrus, he, he's like totally improved. And, uh, Mad Gore, I'm just, <laughs> oh, don't worry, Mad Gore's gonna be excellent, but basically, we are, we're impervious, but there is a reason we're back here. Uh, and it's not just the treasure. 
You see, there's something I forgot. Something very crucial that would be nice to have, you know. So it's like I figured this is a good place to resume. And after that, we will be back on track, believe you me. But until then, there is something super, super neat that you might want to come back here to do. And we're pretty high level. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any problems with one bit. And it's actually really related to Choco Chaz. Our little Chaz Red buddy. I mean, like, he, we got to make him better. And that right there is a variant of the Chocobo. Nice. That's right, we got the black Chocobo chick pretty neat if you do if you ask me pretty neat I might as well use the Libra ability to take a look at what we got here little black choco chick yeah see uh, restore okay so basically that's what you want to do if you want to imprisonment imprisonment just uh, restore its HP and you will be able to capture it I'm not gonna, because it's a side evolution of Chaz, and the neat thing about battling it... Actually, I'm just gonna obliterate it. Let's use one of our champions. Here we go. Might as well show it off, right? Gotta show off the Warrior of Light. Oh, it's so badass. Look at this guy. I will banish this darkness once and for all. You ask me, it doesn't get any better than that! that was a <laughs> and was honestly, so when it comes down to it, there's no kill like Overkill. So, for defeating the Black Choco Chick, there's something really neat about it. You see, you defeat it, you get its memento, and guess what you can do with that memento? We can actually turn our own Chazrad, Choco Chaz, not what I wanted, Not also not what I wanted, what we can do is we can actually go to the Mirage board and then we can take our Chaz we can go to the Choco Chick and believe it or not if I wanted to I can actually unlock it because that's what you need in order to access that pathway not a bad deal if you ask me so you know Chaz you can go into the dark the dark pathway of Black Choco Chick and that has its own line of evolutions. I think I've covered that. But, you know, that that's why I wanted to come back here and do that. So, without further delay, as I said in the last thing, we are officially going to resume. Okay, without further delay, we're going to resume what we we're actually going to do, which involves a lot of backtracking. But before that, I might as well introduce you to Spider Mike, who... Is actually Spider Mikey, but I couldn't fit the Y, so it's Spider Mike. But it's a shout out to my bro, Spider Mikey. He's a permanent member of our team, and also he can turn into a baby Tomberry and a Pell or a baby Pellberry. I'm gonna keep him as a baby Pellberry because they're pretty good, along with the baby Tomberry. But that's not the point. Point is, he can he can side evolve into those. He can't quite go into the whole Tomberry ambiance, but that's that's not important. Also, Mandagora. Got him to level 19, he can totally turn into our Marlboro, which is what we are going to do, and that's that's pretty badass if you ask me. Uh should also mention I did capture a Cactrot. They're pretty rare in the uh, Pyroglow Forest. And I figured I'm never gonna run into one and just because eventually I'm gonna wanna complete my my encyclopedia on mirages, I figured I might as well catch one while I have the opportunity. So I caught one. I'm not going to use it, but I caught one. And uh, I highly doubt I would ever get the opportunity. Also, I should mention, I got a Corrigan. It's a side evolution to Mandagora. It's basically just a darker version of Mandagora. It also has fire uses. Uh, also, I totally leveled up my my Copper Gnome into a Mithril Giant. It has the Smash ability, which is pretty nice, so that, that's that's kind of cool. That's something else. Also, Gallywix has the ability to go into a Goblin Guard, a Goblin, or a Red Cap. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to do, all I have to say about it. He is a Red Cap. Wait. 
Yeah, red cap, but he's a red captain. That's the difference right there. Uh, also, Cyrus, he is a skull eater. Uh, I don't have the ability to side evolve Reaver Moo, but that's fine. I'll just I'll just go with my regular Moo because it's gonna help with the whole party going on. And meanwhile, I have to go to my stack setup. You see now, Lon Lon actually gets the option of going with Cyrus in his low form, and then. Of course, we get to equip our Marlboro friend. So he's, he's a little bit different in comparison to the other stack where, uh, you know, you got rain. So let's just get Lon to the small size also while I'm at it. Because I know, there's a lot I have to cover. There's a lot I, I just have to go on about. I did grind everyone to a considerable level. I don't think we're going to have any issues one bit. So everyone is healed up to max, which is fantastic if you ask me. Anyways, so I missed a couple things, and I figure it would be criminal if I didn't show those off. So that's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we got going on. First off, there are random battles, and I hate running into cockatrice just like so. They're stupid, they got death beak, it's ridiculous. I shouldn't, oh, you serious? See what I mean, they tried doing it again, that shit is ridiculous, man. How am I supposed to counter that? If, like, how would that even work in a Nuzlocke? You're in Mount Moon and then all of a sudden you get like a Vic, like a, a Clefairy that knows Metronome and it just happens to use like Vice Grip or Guillotine. Yeah, Guillotine would probably be a better example. Granted, I get it. There's one-hit KO moves, and they're super cheap, and if it was a Nuzlocke, it would piss me off, too. But at the same time, how can, how can you expect me to deal with that shit? I can't even comprehend it. It's ridiculous. So it's like Nuzlocke over. The game wants to be cheap, then fuck it. I'm not going to deal with that shit. I don't want to. Whoa. How are we supposed to get past also, I have to show this off. What's the symbol? That's one of Inacrow's the patented sizzle symbols. She got it patented? That's your cue to the Brain Alana Mirage that's learned the Sizzle ability. And if you don't have a Mirage with the Sizzle ability just yet, you're sure to find one close to by, so keep looking. I believe Cacatrice has it, but I have. I have Freet. Freet has the Sizzle ability. Oh. Nice. I don't have to deal with it. It is very nice. Ooh, I got a Thunder Seed. All right, that's not a bad thing to grab. So you know, we're just we're just gonna push some things out of the way, and then we're I'm probably gonna end the part. So I know this has kind of been just a filler episode, but I think it's good filler. You know, we have to do it. I had Sorry, to do it. Man, I really want that baby Hemoth. That would have been dope to get. But I, I digress. I, I I live with my choices. I live with my team. Also, it looks like Rain and her stack got oblivious. They can't really use AP moves. As far as I know, that's really what that is. It's, it's oblivious is, from what I understand, the silence status. They just—I don't know if silence is a thing, but it doesn't matter. Also, we got this Merc Mercfin, Merc Mercriff, Mercriff. I don't know, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I guess no one cares. Point is, we can enter it. We're like in our 20s. This thing is level 13. You know what that means? Okay. They're dead. I won't hold back. All th four of them. Actually, they look pretty badass. If you're curious, because I bet you are, you can go to the Merc Rift and you can find all these guys and you can be like, yo, what is it? The Shark Wolf. Well, I mean, you use Libra, you can capture it. You can capture Mirages early using the Merc Riff if you really want to. So, fire. Fire attacks. That's how you do it. I'm not doing it because I don't have that capability. I already got my Mirage for the area. Eventually, I'm probably going to have to grab several others, though, just because... Oh, I need to get rid of using the Libra thing. So excuse me while I try to get a normal attack in. Oh, they're trying to topple... It looks like they're trying to topple rain stack. So now, with 
without any delay. We're just gonna we're just gonna auto do this. It should be super simple, super easy. I shouldn't really have to worry about any battles for the whole entire area. Maybe until we get to the next area, but in this battle, no. I, I, I'm not even gonna worry about them toppling over, cause why should I? I shouldn't have to worry about anything. See, we're good. Our team's strong. And it looks like Cyrus leveled up. Some of you might be confused why I named our little squirrel friend Cyrus. It's a it's a scientific notation, or it's it's a scientific name for squirrel, uh, specifically Eastern Greys. So you know it's, it's it's smart. It's smart. I like to be semi intelligible when I go and do these things. That that's that. Also, it looks like. I may have uncovered something off screen if I didn't show this off. Apparently, you can like stop riding your Mirage and you, if, yeah, if you have a, a guy with str the stroll ability, I'm finding little things like that on the map. Uh, personally, I like the Joyride ability. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. That's why Chaz is super awesome. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. Next time we will get into new parts. I mean, look at this map. This, this is about where I got. So we got, we got a lot to go explore. Yeah, we'll probably be exploring all those dead ends, but I guarantee you, there may be treasure.